What is going on guys? Welcome to your 10th Premiere Pro tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing something a little different than how I have been teaching you. Up to this point I've been kind of teaching you the theory what everything is pretty much just giving you the information but we never really put everything into practice and I never showed you actually how to edit a final video. So here is how I edit a final video here is how everything kind of gets pieced together. The very first thing I do is start a new project and move my tools, pretty much set up my workspace exactly how I want it to be set up. So that looks pretty good, right like that, looking pretty good. So now what I need to do is import everything I need. I like to import everything first. So I'm going to go ahead and file import and say I want to edit the podcast from 9-8. So what happens is we shoot our podcast with two different camcorders, one that's mostly on me and one that's mostly on her or closer to me and closer to her. So here is one video clip and let's see 35 and 108 is the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and import both of these video files and again as you can see one of these is closer to me and the other one is closer to her. So they're pretty much shot ex the exact same time just two different angles. So aside from that check this out the microphone that are on the camcorders are ready are, they're pretty crappy microphones so that's why we have the these awesome microphones in this mixer right here to get really good crystal clear audio so we're gonna have three separate pieces of audio the audio from this camcorder the audio from this camcorder and the separate audio that we recorded on our computer and that nice crystal clear audio is the audio that we want to use so I'm gonna go ahead and import that right now and that's what this file is. It's pretty much the perfected crystal clear audio instead of the camcorder's audio. And I'm going to show you how to swap those out a little later on. But for now, we need to import one other thing, and that is the main title picture. So go ahead and hit File Import, and I have it under Downloads, and that's this right here. So if I go ahead and double click that, I can preview. Yep, that's what I want to use for the main title. So the very first thing that I need to do is I need to sync up this video clip, this video clip, and this audio since all of this stuff was filmed at the exact same time. So go ahead and take 35 and drag it out on your timeline and leave some space so you can move some things around. Now go ahead and take 108 and drag that out too. And we want them kind of on top of each other and we're going to go ahead and expand that. Now if we look, I want to show you guys something. What I do to sync everything up, let me go ahead and double click 108. In order to sync everything up, what I do is I have Lola clap and the moment she claps, we can see that if we look right here, we get a nice little peak. So that is why I have people clap and if you ever see in the movies, they have that white board with black marks on it that they, they're like, all right, scene one, shot to action and they snap it that's why they snap it so they can line everything up when they get this nice audio peak right here so here is when she's clapping in this film in this clip and here is when the clap is in this clip so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit unsnap and I need to line up these claps so they look pretty lined up right there but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in even further and by the way here's a nice little tip if you go ahead and select one of these tracks hold down alt on your keyboard and hit left and right it's gonna move it one frame to the left or right so go ahead and line it up as close as you can so now these tracks are pretty much synced together if we go ahead and play these it's gonna sound like one piece of audio again this is pretty much syncing up our audio from both the camcorders. That's what I'm doing now. However, remember, like I said, this is the crappy audio, these two audio files right here. The good one we want is this one. So go ahead and drag this out on your timeline and expand it. And now what you need to do is we need to listen for the clap. So let me go ahead. Nope, that wasn't the clap. Maybe this is the clap right here. 
Yep, I just heard it. I know you guys can't hear it because I'm not recording the computer. I'm recording me talking. But this is the clap from this nice audio file that I need to line up with the video. And then once I line all this up, my video is going to be synced up with my audio file. So let me go ahead and move this over. And by the way, that's why I said to not butter everything against zero zero because if everything's butted up against zero zero, we're not going to have space to move this crap around. So let me go ahead and sync this up. And let me just make sure I got the clap. Yep, here's the clap right here. So let me go ahead and zoom in. And what I'm going to do is select this file, hold down all on my keyboard, and move this left until I line it up perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in all the way and check it out. Now everything is synced together. But you guys are saying, all right, it's off a little bit, Bucky, I can see. Well, check it out. Each of these lines is one thirtieth of a second. So they might not be precisely exact. This is about one sixtieth of a second off, but your brain is never going to be able to recognize that. So get them as close as you can and it'll be fine. So now pretty much this clip from this camcorder, this clip from this camcorder, and this piece of audio, everything is synced together. However, if I play it now, I have three different audio tracks. It kind of it kind of sounds like three people are talking in the background because I have this audio, this audio, which is the crappy audio, and this final audio. So what I'm going to do is I need to get rid of this audio and this audio. What I could do is go ahead and take the volume and bring it all the way down, but it's just going to be there and in the way. So here's what you need to do. If you go ahead and try to delete it, then it's going to delete both the video and the audio. So what you need to do is you need to highlight the track, right click it, and hit unlink. What that's going to do is it's going to unlink the audio from the video. So now you can move the audio separately. And you can go ahead and delete that now and do the same with the other track. Go ahead and unlink that and now the audio and the video are separate. Now you can go ahead and delete that. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure not to move any of these because everything is synced up. So what you can do is go ahead to a certain point of time and turn snap back on. And now go ahead and move everything to that current time indicator. And now everything is synced up at this very same point in time. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit play in both video clips and audio clips everything is synced up perfectly so now I can zoom in and I'm gonna figure out where do I want to start this video so I zoom in and look so obviously I start to talk right around here as you can see from the audio so instead of pulling everything right like that I mean I can do it this way but an easier way since everything is already synced up is highlight all of these and pull them all there at once. And now I have both video files and one audio file starting at the exact same time. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, highlight everything, and bring that all to zero, zero. And now I have both video files and the audio file, which is the clean, perfect audio file, playing exactly where I want it to play and starting it where I want it to start. So there's a bunch of other stuff to cover on editing this. It's taken a little longer than I thought, but hopefully you got a better idea of how to edit video. And if you have two different camcorders, that is how you sync things up. Again, make sure you clap at the beginning so you can see visually, because check this out. If you were just looking like this and have a bunch of different files that look like all of this crap, it would be really confusing to try to line that up. It's like a putting a puzzle together. However, if you have one peak, it's really easy to see. So that's why people clap at the beginning. So they have one little piece of audio that they can see and line that up really easily. So anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. In the next video, I'm going to show you what I do next and how to make this video into a professional looking podcast. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.